Hey, what's going on, everyone? So uh, today we're uh, I've been wanting to do this for a little while. It's kind of a I want to say a year in review or uh, already already starting. <laughs> we try to do something. What, what's he doing? He, he's, he's playing with bowls. So anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna go with it. So I want to do like a, a like a, a like a, a year in review or an update, you know, of what we've been what we've been doing. So obviously, a year ago, we uh, hired Warner. Yes, we fired Warner. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do okay. it right this time. Okay. Probably when I get halfway through this, this is what somebody will call. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? So uh, we are—I've been thinking I've been wanting to do this for a little while. It's—I uh, want to kind of put like a little series together of you know what I would say we you know have been dealing with the last year and the last week. <laughs> this dog! Oh my gosh, man! Luke, Luke the goat. What's he into now? The ball. Go, Luke. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let this roll. Um, I wanted to do like a, you know, I wanted to I wanted to say it was gonna be like a four part series, but it could be like a four or five. But I wanted to talk about like our uh, here he is, um, like a you know update of you know what's been going on in advanced trucking. A uh, you know like a talk about like a our one year review or update that we've been on the spot market and as an owner operator and uh the last one we wanted to do was going to be like you know life on the road versus you know life at home so and i thought it'd be great you know while serena was with me that she you know give her insight of you know like what she deals with on top of you know what i have to deal with you know too so and and this dog man <laughs> Golly, man. We've already had to stop like twice, and I'm just like, this time we're just gonna let it roll. Let it roll. So let, let's get started. <laughs> Sit down. Stay. Okay. So we're gonna try this once again. Um, so basically. No! <laughs> I need to do a video on life life with a truck dog. <laughs> oh man. You, you wanna come say hello? Come here. Just, just, get it out. just get it just get it out of the way. Come here. No, do it. Alright. So let's just we'll just go let's just go into the advanced trucking deal. So so we've been we've been leased on with advanced trucking now for you know one actually it's been one year now, which is kinda crazy. Um, <laughs> This one here is just like a like a review or update of what you know what we think of advanced trucking and you know when we went over there first before we left over there you know you know like when we, when we left Warner you know we'll try to put that video up there somewhere I don't know where up you know here. it'll be up there up somewhere here. so we'll put that video up on how we left Warner and, and that kind of kind of tells the story about like what. You know how we got to advanced trucking, but uh, so like you know when I when I left for advanced, you know it was I mean everything happened so quick. I don't want to like tell the whole video all over again. But everything happened so quick. It was just like you know I mean you remember when when we when we when I I want I wanted to say we but when I when I flew to Indianapolis that day. I was scared. Um, we every time you got a truck. Not like your first one, but every time you got a truck, we always did it together. And so this time I couldn't go with you. And so I was like terrified. I kept hearing like there weren't going to be any training. Like it was just going to be a day and a half of orientation. Then they were going to find you a load. Half a day orientation. And then, yeah. And then it was, you were going to start making money. And I was like, I've heard all this before. I've heard stuff from recruiters, 
promised before and promised and promised and promised. And I was so scared that we were gonna have to start living on $450 a week again. And I was just like, like, I remember, like, the recruiter from Warner when I was at, at the trucking school, he came in, and, like, everyone's asking him all these crazy questions, and he never, I don't want to say he lied, but he, I mean, he kind of told the truth, but it was like he answered it a different way, like, we'll be like, you know, are there TVs in the truck? You're like, yes, you can have a TV in the truck, and, you know, is there Wi-Fi in the trucks? Oh, yeah, you can have Wi-Fi in the trucks. Then you get the truck, and it's just like a shell. Well, yeah, of course you can have Wi-Fi. you got to bring it yourself. You can have a TV. you got to bring it yourself, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and That's we're going to make all this money. You're oh, going to make all oh, yeah. this money. Yeah, shovel. And, shovel. And oh, they didn't triplets. tell you that while you're training... While you're on the truck and you're doing the training hours, they didn't tell you that you get paid four hundred and fifty dollars a week before taxes. Yeah, they didn't tell <laughs> you that part. And I'm just sitting at home with four kids, going, "Oh my gosh, okay." So when he went to advance, I was just like, I was terrified that it was going to start all over again, and we were going to have to, you know, start all over again. And I was just like. It, it can and I just remember praying and praying and praying like Lord you know we can't do this and he got there he got his truck he went to orientation and then he called and he said I said well how's it going and he said well I can't really talk I just wanted to tell you that I'm out of orientation I got my trailer and we're starting to look for me alone and I was like oh my gosh it, it's true like there really is no training like yeah it was it okay was, cool it was exactly what they said it was you know when we first started like before you know before i went there you know i was basically like, you know i would talk with daniel from time to time but it was mainly just angela and in in it was basically, you know, I don't have all the information, but if you, you know, if you want information on the company, you know, I, I could, I'll put a link up to their channel, and it's over there. So the Nottingham's <laughs> in advanced trucking, I cannot express how much I like them, and I haven't even met them. Anthony has met them. I haven't met them. They have treated us like a family and not a number and I've had contact with Angela who is the safety lady and everything else Angela wears many hats yeah and I've <laughs> I've actually called she's called me and I've talked to her and it was hey Serena this is Angela from advanced trucking and you know we just want to let you do da 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 and I, and I was just you know we, I never got that from Warner you know, Daniel will call Anthony from time to time, and he'll be like, "How is Aunt, how's Serena and the girls?" It's never, "How's your family?" It's always, "How are the girls?" And if if he can remember, he'll say their names. You know, but I don't it, expect him. I don't expect him to say. <laughs> Listen, I'm impressed that he remembered Serena. I'm good. You know, so. Yeah, when we before we went there, it was like the main thing that it was a. You know, 80 20. You know, I get 80% of the line haul. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 85 15. I get 85% of the line haul and they get 15. You know, they provide the rental trailer. You know, and, you know, <clears throat> there was a weekly payment for the trailer. You know, the insurance. You know, like I said, I'm not going to go over everything what I pay for because I mean, that's just, this video could be like 45 minutes long. But like I said before, we'll, we'll, we'll put the link to their advanced trucking. YouTube channel, and and Dennis like explains a lot of it, and from there, you know, I mean, you can get you know their information if you want to call them and you know ask them if they're bringing on more trucks. I'm not sure if they are right now, but they can give you all the the correct information and you know get it over to you. But you know, I, I don't really have. I mean, the, I, like, we're thinking about like you know the goods and bads, and I mean, I mean, you know, then we could be here forever, but you know, just just like. The, the only the only thing that has changed was from you know 85 percent to 15 percent and it went from 80 20 and and it wasn't that you know like angela calls up and says hey we're switching everything to 80 20 she gave me the option you know do you want do you want this or you want that so when we went to 80 20 then they basically cover everything that extra five percent that that they're getting you know is basically, you know, covering for the trailer. 
so just one less thing to worry about. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. But um, you know, but if, I mean, you could bring your own trailer, and I think I would believe you would stop. You know, oh no, what's he doing? Now? What's he got going? On? The dog's chewing again. But um, you know, you if you have your own trailer, then you're gonna you're gonna have the eighty five fifteen. So don't chew on that. But um. Uh, you know, obviously the, the biggest thing that was coming over there is, was having control of your business. You know, and at Warner, you, you, I, I didn't have any control. The only the only control I had basically was where I wanted to get fuel. But near the end, they were closing closing that, and I was just almost like a company, <coughs> excuse me, a company driver, and having to go where they told me to go. But that's look at this guy. This guy has been a handful of, but um, yeah, I I wish I would have done this a whole lot sooner. <laughs> you know, we've had our ups and downs since we've been here, but it, it's nothing. It was it was this the truck. You know, nothing with them. You know, everything. You know, there's been a couple. You know, a couple times that they they you know messed up on the pay and it was you know it, it got fixed right away it's no big deal it's nothing to go crazy about you know mistakes are going to happen but um i don't know what do you think i love them i love i had always heard um stories about mega care carriers versus small companies and um when we got to advanced it was literally what everything i'd heard it's family. If they treat you like family, um, I, I, I love them. So I think the only, the only way we would leave advanced trucking is if we got our own authority. Yeah, that's it. That's the end. And I yeah, don't see that in the future anywhere. Right now. Not you know, right now. Not right now. You know, I probably the only thing that I would like to change within the year, maybe to have our own trailer. You know, yeah. That, that's it. I don't foresee you know going anywhere right now uh i mean if everything stays the same everything's going there daniel no... calls anthony now and says hey i see you don't have a load for oh, yeah, they, this helped, weekend and he'll out, be like yeah. hey i got i found this load this load and this load and this load do you want me to call him yeah and he and that's the great thing about him he won't just call and book you a load he will call you and say hey, what do you think i found this load what do you think about it I know you're busy driving. I can call the broker and do it for you. He's like, but if that's what you want, and you know. That was the thing, like in the beginning. Like I'm not gonna go into everything, but like say, like the next video that we wanted to do about this was kind of like a an update review on the spot market slash owner operator deal. And I mean, we'll go into a lot of that, like kind of like the struggles from the beginning. But for anyone that was thinking of coming to advanced trucking, don't think you're gonna come in here blind. I mean, there. They're, they're going to help you, you know, like there was even options in the beginning that, you know, and don't, I, I don't, I don't want to give like the wrong information, but I was, you know, I could have gave up another 5% and, and they would find all my loads for me in the beginning. But I was like, you know, what? It, it, it can't be that hard, <laughs> <laughs> but, but Daniel and, and some of the other guys, you know, even when CPAP was there. You know, he, he helped me from time to time. And especially when you're driving and you, you book these loads with these tight windows. Sometimes you don't have a lot of time to look for these loads. You know, and, and Daniel's always helped out when he when he's had the time. And I don't, and he's still driving himself, so I mean, I can't expect him to do it all the time. But you know, and if he sees that I ain't got nothing going on, they're like, hey, you know, where are you going? Where you, you know, what I mean, you know the. Hey, I, hey, what do you think about this? And sometimes he, you know, there was actually a number of times where, like, I'm driving, and he'll call the broker and pull me in three way, and then I'm doing the talking, and he's just kind of hanging out in the background, you know, which is that helps out a lot, you know. And the way he always tells me, just roll the dice, just roll the dice. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to keep his occupied. Trying to keep this dog occupied. Look at this guy. It's not a flip flop. Uh, but, um, 
So overall, what do you think of advanced trucking? I'd love advanced trucking. I can't. I personally can't oh, yeah. say anything bad about advanced so, trucking. And, and the, 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 uh, that's pretty hard when you, you, you like like all these good things and you just like kind of what you have to deal with. But then I couldn't think of anything bad. You know, it was like, it was like you know, I don't want to say bad, but you know. <laughs> Well, at the fr- at the beginning, at the beginning of the year, Advance had their insurance policy where you couldn't have riders. Oh yeah, well, that's, yeah that's no big deal. But Angela but told Anthony that she knew how much he wanted, like his wife and his kids, to ride with him. And, and she made it happen. And she made it happen. She made it happen. So we pay a little bit extra, but we can carry riders now. And I mean. What place is going to go out of their way to make sure that your your wife and your kids can ride with you? You know, so um, they felt horrible. I remember because I was with you when we had to drop off the truck, and I remember Daniel and Angela both like constantly apologizing. I am so sorry that she can't come with you. I'm so sorry that your wife can't come with you. You know, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Um, to get the truck and to be on the truck with him at, in the beginning. So, I mean, where else? You can't go to an Omega Carrier and they do something like that. So, or you can't go, I mean, I don't know about any other small companies, but I I, I can't think of anything yeah. bad the, the to only, say. The only thing in the beginning that I, <clears throat> that I kind of wanted, but then it took me a while to figure it out what I couldn't do, was... You know, if I'm in the spot market, when I deliver my load, I want to get paid. But, you know, through where I, you know, you know, purchased the truck from, you know, my payment just comes right out of my, my settlement. And, and that's going to get confusing if, you know, it's, it's, it's just easier to have all your, your paperwork sent in Monday night. Tuesday morning sometimes. <laughs> I kind of stretch that sometimes, but Tuesday morning, and you get paid on Friday. So, hey, if you, if you can't handle not getting paid once a week, then uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, but even you and Chucky are God and con- God, country, and family trucking. God, country, and God, co- God, family? No. G and C. So, God, family con- trucking. Yeah. <laughs> G and C, family trucking. Go support him. There you go. Um, you guys were talking about that today, about getting paid after every load versus getting paid once a month or once a week. And, you know, he was bringing up valid points, you know. You have your bills set up where they come out this time. And, yeah, yeah. You know, you have this set up. And so it makes, it kind of makes a little bit more sense to have it once a week versus once every, you know. Not knocking the guys that get paid after every load and they can make it happen yeah can make it happen make it happen but in the those i don't want to say situation or what we have to deal with it's it's it, it, it's not going to work out so what we got going on it works out it's fine everything's cool you know you get paid every friday and that's that you know he said if i mean if there's any information that you want of the company in you know, my email is down below you shoot me an email and I can maybe get you in the, the right direction where you want to go and let you know about the company. But uh, like I said, the rest of the series, like I said, when I do it, another, the next video will be kind of like the owner operator slash spot market, you know, what's going on with there, how we've been doing the first year, and, you know, what we deal with. And then the last video could be two videos, kind of life on the road versus life at home. It may not be, you know, so much like this last year, it may be, you know, we can just talk about it like, like this whole past year, because this whole year has been, he died, he died, he died, you know, <laughs> it's been, it's been a ride. Everything with you always is. <laughs> so, uh, so hopefully this is the, this is the first of the series. So, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, be looking for the next video. Bye. Say anything? He's chewing on his bone. Chewing on his bone. At least he's not chewing on the shoes. Dude. That's another video. (laughs) Thanks for watching.